What up, YouTube fans? This is Zuby Masters returning to my Let's Play hey, Fire Emblem Three Houses. And Blue Lion. Thank you so much. Having allowed the Imperial Army to invade. The Alliance Army makes their last stand at the center of House Regan territory in Deirdre. The Kingdom Army rushes to their aid after amassing more troops. of Deirdre have all been evacuated and are now at sea. Are you sure about this? If Deirdre were to fall, those ships don't have enough resources for... Deirdre won't fall. Have some faith in me, will you? Oh, yes, sir. Our line of defense has been broken. The Imperial Army will be here any moment. Understood. You two join up with the troops in the city. Yes, sir. Judith, are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. It's been years since I last battled in the city streets. Don't go messing up because your vision is weakened with age. Take the defensive for now. Yeah, yeah, I get it. You hang in there too, boy. Your wounds from Granderfield haven't fully healed yet, have they? No, but it's not like I can sit this one out. I have to make my daring escape, after all. Yet for the last time, stop calling me boy. That's an official order from the leader of the Alliance. Understood, leader man. I wonder if our little ray of hope will show up. We fought on opposite sides at Gronder, didn't we? They'll come. You can count on it. If anyone can bring him back, it's Teach. Teach will talk and he'll listen. But more than anything, I've seen their skill and their abilities. I believe in them. Hoth, reinforcements are coming from the West. Their banner is that of the kingdom. What did I tell you? They're here, and just in time. It appears the Imperial Army has already marched into Deirdre and engaged the Alliance. It seems the Imperial advance has been stalled by guerrilla skirmishes. The Alliance forces are holding out, but they won't last much longer. That must be Judith of House Daphnel, who joined up with Claude's troops. To think Judith, a true hero, would find herself backed into a corner like this. It is not so. The Alliance has only drawn the enemy so deeply into the city to allow us to attack them from behind. Brilliant. I believe so. He put his soldiers into position purely on the belief that we'd come. <laughs> I can't believe Claude would risk everything on that belief. He has placed all of his hopes on us. Let's make sure we live up to his expectations, Professor. Here we go. Let's move! The leader of the Alliance has managed to escape to the harbor, has he? Those rats resist in vain. Your Excellency, there's an army closing in on us from outside. The banners are those of House Blathid. Blathid? I see. That idiot failed, it seems. Hurry up and kill the leader of the Alliance. With him gone, Deirdre will fall. 
not let Claude die. Let's hurry to his rest. Hey, you're late. Hurry up and help. I am prepared. Put me in there. I'd be honored. to me. I'm your girl. What's my strategy? I must lead them well. the plan. At your service. Ready when you are. Shall we? Responsibility. But the guy's so helpless, I feel sorry for him. So, I'll do what I can to protect him. Guess I have no choice. Oh, fighting wears me out. This could turn the tides. the only way. Attacking now would be a fine More proof of my loyalty. This is no time to stand up. The subjugation of their... Ah, they're showing nothing for it. It's no good. We're surrounded. I need to hurry up and rescue the boy. To get to the harbor, first we have to get rid of the enemy mercenaries. There's no other way.
It won't be in vain. I've got to... Team effort. Don't get used to this. Thank you. That was a big help. I'll go and cover our leader. Appreciate it.
had to protect my friends. my duty. I'll keep moving forward. I could learn from that. I need to slow down. Done. Onward. Clever. Nothing is more foolish than dying in vain. Let's get to the harbor and finish off. Watch and learn. Allow me to demonstrate. This could turn the tides. But it's you or me. Best me. Knew you could do it. Good, but not. Don't bother haunting me. I'm 
must lead them well. Nothing bites so hard as a corner. You're a big help. It won't be in vain. I expect no less. You thought well. This left. me lightly.
pull my weight. Uncle, I need to know. The incident nine years ago. You were involved, weren't you? You know something. What did Cornelia... No. What did my stepmother do? You are not qualified to look into the darkness. You and Edelgard. Do your best to kill each other. You are family after all. There it is. The light. He's dead. There goes our chance to gain more information. And again, even if we had managed to capture him alive, judging by the way he was acting... Teach is absolutely right. We should take this rare opportunity to let off some tension. It's been a long time, Claude. I'm glad to see that you're safe. Same. I haven't seen you since the nightmare that was Grander. She really did come to help us. You must be a bunch of soft-hearted suckers, huh? If you really felt that way, you would not have set up a defensive battle in the hopes that we would come. It worked out only because we made it in time. Were you really so confident that we would answer the call? Of course. I knew you wouldn't hesitate to put yourself second and come running to our aid. You and I are cut from different cloth. I wouldn't make a move unless I could gain something from it. You've always been just the opposite. And of course, I've always been fond of taking dangerous risks. After all, I sent that express messenger before you had even recaptured the kingdom capital. If all went to plan, I knew you'd recapture it soon, and then respond to our request for aid. It was riskier than usual, I'll give you that. But it was the only card I had to play, so I took the gamble. You crossed too many dangerous bridges from my liking. I know, I know. But that ends today. What do you mean? Here, take this. Use it however you see fit. Legendary bow, fail not. Isn't this the hero's relic of House Regan? Hold, Claude. This must be one of your jokes. You cannot truly intend to part with this. It's not a joke. As of today, the Lester Alliance is no more. Just what are you planning, Claude? If you're going to lead Fodlan, then the Alliance Lords will follow you. Back in the day, the Alliance split off from the Kingdom. I'm just putting us back together again. Oh, and I've already gained the support of the other lords at the Roundtable Conference, so you can stop looking at me like I'm crazy. All that's left for me is to officially step down as the leader of the Alliance. Hold your horses there, Teach. I'm leaving Fodlan. There are things I have to do, dreams I need to see to fruition. That's why I became the Alliance leader to begin with, actually. But it left me no time for what I was really after. You'd better not take on too many responsibilities yourselves, or else you'll end up in the same boat. And remember, both the living and the dead cling to us without any regard for our own lives. It's up to us to break free of that weight and follow the path that we believe in. Claude. Oops, I almost forgot the most important thing. If you're looking for Rhea, Apparently she's being held captive in the Imperial capital. It doesn't sound like they intend to kill her, but there's no telling what they're planning. You have my gratitude, Claude. Gratitude? Thanks, but no thanks. As far as I'm concerned, we're even now. I don't know how many years will pass until then, but let's promise to meet again. And when we do, don't be too hard on me, your kingliness. Well, Dimitri, are you finally going to tell us the damn truth? What are you talking about? 
Didn't Lord Arendelle say something about you and Edelgard being family? To claim that the King and the Emperor are related, could it be? Ah, I suppose I never told you, though I do recall mentioning it briefly to the Professor. Lord Arendelle spoke the truth. My stepmother was Edelgard's birth mother. Political turmoil drove my stepmother out of the Empire. Father fell in love with her at first sight, and they married. I lost my birth mother before I was old enough to remember her. My stepmother filled that role for me, but she lost her life in Dusker nine years ago, along with father. Hang on. I didn't even know she was your stepmother. Did my father know about this? Yes. All those who were close to my father knew, including Roderick. But to speak openly about it would have caused a scandal. And so she was our secret. No one in the general public knew about her. Naturally, the fact that Edelgard and I are step-siblings was kept a secret as well. I'm finally beginning to understand what you went through five years ago. I mean, Edelgard is the only family you have left, isn't she? To find out someone so precious to you is actually your most hated enemy. How heartbreaking. But wait! You two were born and raised in two different territories, right? So you probably never met until you were both at the Academy. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think the idea of fighting family is just about the worst thing ever. But hopefully the fact that she's a stepsister who you never really knew helps with the pain? I don't know. It was just a thought. I'm afraid that's not the case. Though it was only for a short time, Edelgard once called Ferdia at home. It was a long time ago, but she was a cherished friend of mine. Wait! I remember now! She was that girl, wasn't she? The one you gave a dagger to! <laughs> so, your little girlfriend was Edelgard. Sylvain, if you have any more foolish things to say, please hold them for later. I do have a few more in my sleeve, but they can wait. Go on, your highness. This is important for us to hear. She may be a hated enemy now, but the Emperor is your old friend and your stepsister. Can you bring yourself to kill her? I will kill her, if I must. But if there is any chance that the world she seeks to create could be a just one, then I... I would love to see a future in which I may reach out my hand for her and have her reach back. That said, I have no intention of letting my personal feelings cloud my judgment. Too much is at stake. Your Highness, I think you should meet with the Emperor and at least try to talk to her. If there's any hope of ending this war without more bloodshed, we have to try. Besides, killing your own family. I'm sorry, but it's not right. I... I think so too. And you are right that we should at least try. I see. So my uncle's defeated beyond doubt? Yes, Your Majesty. I have confirmed it via countless channels. I advise that we accept this as a drop of joy amid a pool of sorrow. Pretty words, but I'm afraid we can't rest until the joy outweighs the sorrow. And for that to happen, it now seems we must confront them all at once. Dimitri, who took back Ferdiad. Claude, who managed to protect the Alliance. And that professor, who was successfully mobilizing the Knights of Seros. What will you do, Your Majesty? Pull back our forces. In the west to Arian Road. In the east to... Fort Mercius, I presume. There is no better place for such a confrontation, after all. Indeed. And dispatch the Death Knight to guard it. He can buy us some time. In the meantime, I will... Forgive me, but I must speak bluntly. I do not agree with what you intend to do. Though slight, there is a chance that once done, it cannot be undone. Even I cannot always choose the direction my path leads me. There is no other way. And so, I must walk on. Part 2. Azure Moon. Blue Sea Moon. The Impregnable Fortress.
When Claude steps down as its leader, the Leicester Alliance disbands, and its lords swear fealty to the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. The chaos in the kingdom begins to dissipate as the people unite under Dimitri's rule. Riding this momentum, the kingdom army prepares to march south for a decisive battle against imperial forces. finally have our decisive battle with the Empire this month. The Eastern Lords are in the process of consolidating all of the troops within the entire kingdom. In addition, ever since Aryan Road's liberation, the Western Lords have been declaring their fealty, one after another. Affairs within the kingdom have calmed down considerably, and we even managed to win over the Alliance. Although it was a rough go at first, I'm starting to feel like we could actually win this. That's true. Thinking back on it now, we've really come a long way. We even have a lead as to where Rhea is located. It is as we predicted all along. If we are to rescue Rhea, then we must defeat the Emperor. Um, if we're going to march from the Monastery to Inbar, then we'll have to cross the Great Bridge of Murden again, right? Yes, I believe so. As we have gained the Alliance's support, we should not have any trouble this time. After the bridge, we can cross Gronder Field and head south. And then we'll take Mercius, the so-called impregnable fortress that towers on the other side. Fort Mercius? I know of it. They say it rivals even Arian Road. Count Burgleys, the Empire's Minister of Military Affairs, once had troops stationed there. But according to our spies, a large-scale military force has entered the stronghold. Perhaps they are gathering soldiers from various regions to compensate for their losses. If we try to avoid it, those troops will follow us and attack from the rear. It is best for us to handle the situation head on. Once we take Fort Mercius, Enbar will be within reach. This is the Empire's last chance to stop us from arriving at our goal. In other words, if we take this fort, then our blades will be at the Emperor's throat in no time. If this is the last fort between us and them, then the Emperor will likely do everything she can to strengthen its defenses. I just received a report on that very subject. The one commanding the troops stationed at Fort Mercius is someone we have crossed blades with many times. It is the Death Knight who awaits us there. Oh, so that's who we'll be battling. Emil. Well, that's it for this video. Hope you like it and stay tuned.